I'm going to skip to running Mastodon, preparing your machine. Play some music. All right. If you are setting up a fresh machine, it is recommended that you secure it first. Assuming that you are running Ubuntu 18.04. Actually, we're on Ubuntu 20.04, I think, for the long-term support. Do not allow password-based SSH login keys only. First, make sure you are actually logging into the server using keys excuse me, keys and not via a password. Otherwise, this will lock you out. Let's see, make sure you're logging in using keys, not via a password. Otherwise, this will lock you out. Many hosting providers support uploading a public key and automatically set up key-based root login on new machines for you. Edit the forward slash etc forward slash ssh forward slash sshd underscore config and find password authentication. Make sure it's uncommented and set it to and set it to no and set to no. If you made any changes, restart sshd. Update system packages, apt update and and apt upgrade dash y. Install fail to ban so it blocks repeated login attempts. Edit forward slash etc forward slash fail number two and ban forward slash jail dot local and put this inside bracket default close bracket dest email d e s t e m a i l space equals space your at email dot here Sender name space equals space fail to ban then bracket sshd close bracket enabled equals true port equals 22 every time it looks like there's spaces on each side of the equal sign S, the bracket sshd dash ddos close bracket enabled equals true port equals 22 finally restart failed to ban system c o oh, system control s y s t e m c t l space restart space failed to ban Install a firewall and only whitelist SSH, HTTP, and HTTPS ports. First, install IP tables persistent. During installation, it will ask you if you want to keep current rules. Decline. apt install y IP tables persistent. Edit the forward slash etc forward slash IP tables forward slash rules dot v4 and put this inside. Asterisk filter hash allow all loopback L O zero traffic and drop all traffic to 127 slash 8 that doesn't use L O zero. 
dash a input dash i l o dash j accept dash a input exclamation point dash i l o dash d one two seven dot zero dot zero dot zero forward forward slash eight dash j reject hash accept all established inbound connections dash a input dash m state dash dash state established comma related dash j accept hash allow all outbound traffic you can modify this to only allow certain traffic dash a output dash j accept hash allow http and https connections from anywhere the normal ports for websites and ssl dash a input dash p tcp dash dash d port 80 dash j accept dash a input dash p tcp dash dash d port 443 dash j accept hash allow ssh connections hash the dash d port number should be the same port number you set in sshd underscore config dash a input dash p tcp dash m state dash dash state new dash dash d port space 22 space dash j accept hash allow ping dash a input dash p icmp dash m icmp dash dash icmp dash type uh, 8 dash j accept hash log ip tables denied calls dash a input dash m limit dash dash limit 5 forward slash min minus j log dash dash log dash prefix quote ip tables denied colon quote dash dash log dash level seven hash reject all other inbound dash default deny unless explicitly allowed policy dash a input dash j reject dash a forward dash j reject commit with ip tables persistent that configuration will be loaded at boot time but since we are not rebooting right now we need to load it manually for the first time ip tables dash restore less than forward slash etc forward slash ip tables forward slash rules dot v4 okay that was preparing your machine let's do installing from source instructional guide on creating your own mastodon powered website Prerequisites. A machine running Ubuntu 18.04 that you have root access to. I would like to know if this has been updated to Ubuntu 20.04. A domain name or a subdomain for the Mastodon server, e.g. example.com. An email delivery service or other SMTP server you will be running the commands as root. If you aren't already root, switch to root. System repositories. Make sure curl is installed first. Node.js. Curl-sl. HTTPS colon slash slash deb.nodesource.com slash 
setup underscore 12 dot x vertical line bash dash yarn curl dash lowercase s uppercase s https colon slash slash dl dot yarn pkg dot com slash debian slash pub key dot gpg vertical bar app dash key add dash Echo, quote, deb, https, colon, slash, slash, dl, dot, yarn, pkg, dot com, slash, debian, slash, stable, main, close quotes, vertical bar, tee, then forward slash etc, forward slash apt, forward slash sources, dot list, dot d, slash, yarn, dot colon system packages apt update apt install dash y downward slash image magic ffmpeg libpq dash dev libxm l2 dash dev LIBXSLT1-DV file git core slash G++ LIBPROTOBUF-DV protobuf-compiler PKG-config node.js GCC autoconf slash bison build a stash essential lib ssl dash dev lib yaml dash dev lib read line six dash dev lib read line six dash dev zlib one g dash dev lib and curses five dash dev lib ffi dash dev lib gdbm5 lib gdbm dash dev slash where was i i did lib curses lib ffi dash dev lib gdbm5 i did that lib gdbm dash dev i did that slash ng inx redis dash server redis dash tools p o s t g r e s q q l p o s t g r e s q l dash contrib slash cert bot Python dash serpot dash ngi nx yarn libby dn one one dash dv libby cu dash dev lib gemma lloc dash jeff installing ruby we will be using rbenv to manage ruby versions because it's easier to get the right versions and to update once a newer release comes out. RBENV must be installed for a single Linux user. Therefore, first we must create the user Mastodon will be running as. Add user dash dash disabled dash login Mastodon. We can then switch to the user. SU dash Mastodon. and proceed to install rbenv and rbenv-build colon. All right, git clone https slash slash github.com slash rbenv slash rbenv dot git 
Uh, then there's tilde slash dot rbenv. cd tilde slash dot rbenv and and src slash configure and and make dash c src. Echo. Uh, what is that called? Apostrophe export. Path equals, quote, dollar sign home slash dot rbnv slash bin colon dollar sign path, quote, apostrophe, great, uh, let's see, it's a greater than greater than tilde slash dot b-a-s-h-r-c, bash r-c. Echo apostrophe eval quote dollar sign parentheses rbenv space init space dash close parentheses quote apostrophe space greater greater space tilde slash dot bash rc exec space bash then git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash rbenv slash ruby dash build dot git tilde slash period rbenv slash plugins slash ruby dash build. Once this is done, we can install the correct Ruby version. Ruby underscore configure underscore ops equals dash dash with dash Gemma LLOC rbenv install 2.66, rbenv global 2.66. We also need to install bundler. gem install bundler dash dash no dash document. Return to the root user colon. Exit. Setup. Setting up post SQL. Performance configuration optional. For optimal performance, you must use PG Tune to generate an appropriate configuration and edit values in slash etc slash post SQL slash 9.6 slash main slash post SQL dot com before restarting post SQL with System CTL restart and PostgreSQL. Creating a user. You will need to create a PostgreSQL user that Mastodon could use. It is easiest to go with quote ident unquote. Authentication in a simple setup i.e. the PostgreSQL. User does not have a separate password and can be used by the Linux user with the same username. Open the prompt. sudo-u postgres psql. In the prompt, execute. Create user mastodon. Create db. Semicolon. Then forward slash q. Done! Exclamation point. <laughs> Setting up Mastodon. It is time to download the Mastodon code. Switch to the Mastodon user. SU dash Mastodon. Checking out the code. Use Git to download the latest stable release of Mastodon. Git clone https colon slash slash github dot com slash tootsuite slash mastodon dot git live and and cd live git checkout dollar sign parentheses git tag dash l vertical line grep dash v apostrophe rc bracket zero dash nine close bracket asterisk dollar sign apostrophe vertical line sort dash v Vertical line tail dash n one close parentheses. 
Installing the last dependencies. Now to install Ruby and JavaScript dependencies. Bundle config deployment, deployment, apostrophe true, apostrophe. Bundle config without, apostrophe development test, apostrophe. Bundle install dash j string, parentheses, get conf, underscore n processors, underscore o n l n, close parentheses. Yarn install dash dash pure dash lock file. The two bundle config commands are only needed the first time you're installing dependencies. If you're going to be updating or reinstalling dependencies later, just bundle install will be enough. Generating a configuration. Run the, interact, run the interactive setup wizard. Rails underscore env equals production. Bundle. Exec rake mastodon colon setup. This will create a configuration file, run asset pre-compilation, create the database schema. The configuration file is saved as .env.production. You can review and edit it to your liking. Refer to the documentation on configuration. You're done with the Masterdon user for now, so switch back to root. That's exit, E-X-I-T. Setting up NGINX. Copy the configuration template for NGINX from the Mastodon directory. So cp slash home slash Mastodon slash live slash dist slash NGINX dot com space slash etc slash NGINX slash sites dash available slash mastodon ln dash s slash etc slash nginx slash sites dash available slash mastodon slash etc slash nginx slash sites dash enabled slash mastodon then edit slash etc slash nginx slash sites dash available slash mastodon to replace example.com with your own domain name and make any other adjustments you might need. Reload NGINX for the changes to take effect. Acquiring a SSL certificate. We'll use Let's Encrypt to get a free SSL certificate. Certbot dash dash nginx space dash d space example dot com. This will obtain the certificate automatically update slash etc slash nginx slash sites dash available slash mastodon to use the new certificate and reload nginx for the changes to take effect. At this point, you should be able to visit your domain in the browser and see the elephant hitting the computer screen error page. This is because we haven't started the Mastodon process yet. Setting up systemd services. Copy the systemd service templates from the Mastodon directory, colon. cp slash home slash Mastodon slash live slash dist slash mastodon dash asterisk dot service space slash etc slash system d slash system slash then edit the files to make sure the username and paths are correct slash etc slash system d slash system slash mastodon dash web dot service <coughs> slash etc slash system d slash system slash mastodon dash side kiq dot service slash etc slash system d slash system slash mastodon dash streaming dot service
Finally, start and enable the new SystemD services. SystemCTL, daemon-reload. SystemCTL, start mastodon-web, mastodon-sidekick, mastodon-streaming. SystemCTL, enable mastodon-asterisk. They will now automatically start at boot, ta boot time. Hooray! This is it. You can visit your domain in the browser now.